And now let's look at the pronouns. Simply put, pronouns take the place of a noun. We have various types of pronouns. They are personal pronouns, which can either be subject or object. We have reflexive pronouns, relative pronouns, and possessive pronouns. With our personal pronouns, we have to decide whether it's the subject or the object. The subject is the doer of an action, whereas the object is the one that receives the action. Subject pronouns are I, you, he, she, it, etc. Object pronouns are me, you, him, her, etc. In the sentence, Greg hit Pete, the subject of the sentence is Greg. Therefore, I would say he hit Pete. Or I could put a pronoun in for the object of the sentence where Greg hit Pete. Now I go into Greg hit him. With our reflexive pronouns, these are the actions that we do onto ourselves if we're speaking about ourselves or somebody else. So I could say, I'm quite happy with myself, or I could say, you seem quite happy with yourself. Our relative pronouns basically help us add more information about the subject of the sentence. So I could say, Lake Michigan is a place where I go sailing every summer. Now let's take a look at the possessive pronouns, but we'll do so by looking at also the possessive adjectives. Now let's compare our possessive pronouns to our possessive adjectives. We can easily identify which is which by keeping in mind what our adjectives do. Our adjectives describe our nouns. Therefore, our possessive adjectives are describing the noun and followed by a noun. This is my pen. However, keeping in mind what the pronouns do, they take the place of a noun, our possessive pronouns do exactly that. It's mine. And one more example of this would be, it's your pen and it's yours.